Hey guys, I'm Viper and uh, welcome to a brand new video and I apologise that it's been quite a while uh, since my last one, I know it's been like a couple of days for most people but uh, like quite a while since my last proper video. Um, I just want to, like I mentioned uh, a couple of months ago about, you know, shortage of videos, it is still uh, in effect essentially. Um, so I am trying, I, I promise I am trying to get a video out every now and again but like I said it's not something to expect once a week. Um, you'll have noticed there's been quite a few uh, speedruns, that's because I've actually been live streaming as of late on Twitch and um, been doing Cole McCray Rally speedruns, as you might have guessed. Um, I am going to try and do a bit of speedrunning when I can. It's, the only thing is, the reason why I'm doing the speedruns is because I've got into it, um, mainly for the games, I like the games that I'm speedrunning. And I don't see myself as like a potential world record holder or anything like that, or a proper speedrunner. Um, but you know I am getting into the whole speedrunning thing again like I did a couple of years ago so who knows I might get back into Simpsons that run speedrunning. Anyway you're here because of the title of the video which is testing your F1 noise. So obviously it's another F1 quiz. Um, this one is going to range on the 1990s so from 1990 to 1999. The knowledge will cover those 10 years I think it is. Um, so without further ado, there's 15 questions and I've added the marks up in total, there's 29 points or 29 marks, whichever, uh, available. Now there will be a answer video coming out shortly following this and just to make things kind of convenient, um, the answers will be, uh, like I said, I'll try and keep the answers, the videos as short as possible, uh, that way it's more convenient. Like I said, for the last F1 quiz video that I did, which is when I asked the question and I give you guys the answer in another video. Um, basically same again, I'll give you guys the questions, There'll be the text will be at the bottom down here, you'll be able to see them uh, once I've obviously put it in via editing, of course. Um, and all you've got to do is obviously leave your answers in the comments as I'm going through the questions. If need be, please don't hesitate to pause the video on the questions, rather than kind of watch it all the way through and try and answer them all as quick as you can. Because it's not a race, you don't have to race through the questions as I'm talking about them. But anyway, Let's get into it. So, and I uh, apologise for the white light on my face. Uh, I'm using my iPad. It's, as you can know, obviously it's 25 to 11, so it's quite late as I'm recording this. Um, but either way, um, 15 questions. First question is, how many championships has Mika Hakkinen won? And there's also a bonus point involved for this, which is, can you name the years that he was, uh, that he was champion? Um, you get half a point for each year. Basically. Number two. Following the death of Ayrton Senna in 1994, how many drivers replaced him during the 94 season? So obviously we had, at the start of the 94 season, we had Damon Hill and Ayrton Senna. Senna passed away during the San Marino Grand Prix, I'm sure everybody's familiar with, everybody knows. But who was it that replaced him? Uh, and also for the bonus points, can you name who, who it was that replaced him? Um, as in took his seat. Number three, who scored more wins during the period of 1990 to 1999, sorry. Was it Williams, McLaren or Ferrari? Question four, in 1999, Michael Schumacher was put out of the running for the title, but what had caused him to do this? And it's a sim it, I say it's a simple answer. If you guys know how that season went, then you'll easily get this, if not, by, by all means, take, don't forget to take a guess. Um, I'll need the actual answer for it. Obviously, you can't say the wrong answer. I'll let you know, obviously, via the answer when you can compare your answer to mine, and you'll know whether you got it right or not, of course. Anyway, moving on. Question number five. Ayrton Senna drove a fantastic race in the wet at the 1993 European Grand Prix, but where did he start for that race? So I don't need to know where he finished, because we all know where he finished. I want to know what was the place he started at during that wet race. Number six. At the 1995 Hungarian Grand Prix, there was a bizarre accident involving Taki Inui, I believe he's pronounced. But what happened? And I'm gonna need the answer. Like the proper answer for this one. Question seven. Which Grand Prix circuit from the 1995 season was discontinued following its location? So this might mean it means that the track was on the calendar in 95, but was not in it anything after that because of its location. Um, so I'll let you guys have a guess at that. You might get it, you might not. Number eight, there were several new teams that had come and gone during the 1990s, but in 1997, one team had reached an all-time low. 
by only appearing at one race, it, never, it failed to show at the second race. But who was the team? And also for the bonus points, can you name the drivers of that particular team? So that one's going to be the hardest one. You get a point for each driver, so there was two drivers in a team like there is now. Um, you get a point for each driver, so rather than say half a point, I thought, well, why don't I give you a point for each one? Because I'm nice. Number 9. In 1992, Nigel Mansell won his one and only title. But which race did he claim his title? So I'm not looking at, obviously, the year, because obviously I've told you that. What was the race where he actually claimed the title? Question 10. Damon Hill won his one and only world championship in 1996. But how many races did he win that season in order to win the title? Question 11. How many different championship winners was there between 1990 and 1999? And for the bonus points, which is one point per driver, so per champion, can you name all of them? Question 12. How many races did Heinz Howell Fretzen win during the 1990s? And whilst we're on the topic of Heinz Howell Fretzen, question 13. Who has won more races? Jordan or Stuart GP? So Stuart Grand Prix. Question 14. John Lacey made a fantastic debut at the 1990 US Grand Prix held in Phoenix, but where did he finish at the end of that race? And finally, the last question. Question 15. How many championships did Michael Schumacher win between 1990 and 1999? And for the bonus point, can you name the years? Sorry, bonus points, can you name the years? Um, and it's one point per correct year. So those are the questions I, I've got given you guys. I hope to see you guys for the answers video, which is coming up in a couple of days time. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to separate the videos by a couple of days so you guys have plenty of time if you missed this or you, you know, you're a day behind on videos and stuff, I'll let you catch up and obviously uh, fill in the answers, what your answers were. I apologise for the white light on my face, that's what the, uh, the iPod's done. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you guys for the answers video and I'm looking forward to seeing how many marks you guys get. Um, and yeah, until then, I've been Viper Racing, you guys have been awesome watching. I'll see you guys for the answers video, which is the next video, um, very, very soon. So until then, ta -ra.